Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everyone. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, following up with the Gearing of Mage, I figured, you know, a nice, easy guide that I could sort of help a lot of people. And this isn't as detailed, um, but it would be going over what enchants you want and where you can get them as a caster and the mats that they're gonna cost. Now, caster enchants are actually some of the cheapest in the game because there aren't that many until we get to AQ as well as um, uh, ZG. But anyway, let's get started. So the first one you're gonna come to is your helm as well as your legs. Now these enchants that are you're gonna go for right this moment are healing and spell damage. It's plus eight and you're gonna get that on Dire Maul. I will go through that later on my Shadow Priest because I actually need a plus eight one right now. Um, the next one we come to are shoulder enchants. Now right at this very moment before ZG comes out, you can only get um, resistance ones with Argent Dawn. That is going to be five of any um, type of resist you want. I'd recommend Fire or Shadow if you're raiding. Um, if you're exalted with the Argent Dawn, you actually can get plus five all resist, which is really, really awesome. Um, the Cape, as I just said right there, plus five all resist. Now you're going to get this one from an enchanter right here. Um, luckily, I am one of those, so I don't have to find anyone, but here are the mats it takes. It takes two Lesser Eternal Essence, one Heart of Fire, one Core of Earth, one Globe of Water, one Breath of Wind, and one Icker of Undeath. This is all pretty cheap. Um, it's not going to cost that much for you. Um, we'll run it through TSM right now, and TSM shows it at four gold and 50 cents. The Eternals are the, ch the most expensive part of this by far. Then we come to chest. Now the best one for everyone is plus four stats. Um, unless you're PvPing, um, then these are different. But I'm going over just pure raid enchants. Um, we have plus four stats. This is the most expensive enchant. Probably anyone's going to get outside of weapons. Um, TSM on my server right now shows it at about 77 gold. Um, this What really fluctuates a ton is the greater eternal prices. Um, Right now, the, it showed that as five, but I think it's using in the market average. And right now, there's seven to eight gold per, so it's pretty freaking expensive. Next, we come to Bracer Enchants. Um, this is where it starts to differ um, for all casters. Um, if you're a healer, you're going to want to get more healing focused ones. If you are a mage, you're going to get. 7 int as well as a warlock and uh shadow priest so we come to that that's super cheap again it's one great eternal essence you break that down into three lesser eternals and nice and easy 7 int now this changes uh later on but that's not until aq i believe that you have to worry about this however if we come to a healer we have enchant bracers healing power which is quite, quite expensive, but it's really powerful. It gives you plus 24 healing to Bracers. Um, it's running at about 60 gold. Is 50 to 60 gold is what my, on, on my server, is what my add-on says there. Um, once again, the most expensive thing you're going to find are the Great Eternals. These are the most expensive probably everywhere because they're the rarest ones for you to get. Um, Living Essence, they're pretty cheap on my server, but yours could differ. As well as if Mana Regeneration is pretty big for you, I would look into that as well. Um, just depending on your class. Like on a Shadow Priest, I'll probably use Mana Regen. I think that's more important than the Int. Um, maybe a Healing Priest... But thus far, I've really only given out healing power, not really mana region to any of them. Um, and we come to gloves. Now, pre-AQ, um, you're going to want minor mount speed. There's no other thing to get. Um, just It's great to have. You're always going to be mounting quite often to go wherever and do whatever you're doing in the game. So having that speed is awesome. If there's something profession-based you want, like mining, uh, herbalism, just stuff like that, you're going to want to get that on just another glove and just sort of put that on when you're going to do those professions specifically. But right now, minor mount speed is really the only thing for casters. There's nothing else really until AQ. 
Um, belt enchant. There aren't any belt enchants in the game. No belt buckles yet. So nothing to worry about there. Legs are the same as um, your helmet there. Um, I do believe ZG comes out with class unique enchants. And I believe they are for your leggings. Let's take a look here. Um, enchants. So, yes, these are for leg or helm. So you can get your class enchants for your leg or helm. Once this comes out, make take a look at your enchants. That's what you're going to be wanting to get for your um, things. And then they have unique quest shoulder ones as well. So once ZG comes around, we'll definitely take a look to see what these are and how much they cost and what enchants we're going to use for that. So that just requires that being out, and we will uh, see what we need. But I'm pretty sure you just need the mojos from the bosses in order to get those. So that's a, that's a quick note for what's to come and what you're going to be using. Then for um, boots, it's really just minor speed increase right now. There are no real caster things that you want. Um, I don't think that changes, honestly. Most boot enchants are just uh, spirit and uh, agility, strength, things like that. So the move speed actually helps you more because you're able to dodge everything, move a lot quicker. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the rundown of caster enchants. The final one we come to is weapons. So if you're damaged, you're gonna want 30 spell power to it. If you are a healer, you're gonna want 55 healing power to that. These are the most expensive ones you're gonna come to. Healing powers, actually significantly cheaper than spell power spell power will run you around 240 gold um and healing power will run you at about 169 gold so this is just a relative average from my server and the data i've collected um your servers could differ but i'd imagine it's somewhere in those ranges at least for what's going to be the most expensive and what is going to be the cheapest so with that guys we're gonna head over to dire mall and i will show you how to walk through and get those enchants and i will see you then whoop Alrighty, guys so we're here at dire mall i actually need the um plus eight spell power enchant on my priest here so what it takes is coming to dire mall and what you're gonna do is you're gonna at the very first part this is super essential that you do this quest line um it's elven legends most people have done this by now but if you're a fresh 60 looking to get this enchant for yourself um you, know, you go to this camp here in Feralus for the horde and you get a quest called elven legends now this quest will take you into dire mall and you have to get to the library and in order to get to the library you have to go to the end of west um dire mall west and that's a full clear and it'll take you right to the library or if you um, clear Dire Mall East, do the quest with the imp at the beginning of Pusillan, he drops the Crescent Key. Now, this is required to get there. Either way, you do need to do this. So you unlock this door. Someone unlocked it for me, so I'll just hit this torch. And it, you unlock this door. This is to Dire Mall North. Now, this is a cool little shortcut that I'm going to show you guys um, to get to the library if you have the key or if you are a class that can open up the key you can do it this way as well so i'm going to mind soothe this mob just for the sake of ease um normally you have to wait till he walks away to do this but you can just jump right here on this corner get up on this ledge and this ledge will los all of the mobs so they will not aggro they'll aggro to me but they will not kill me the only thing you have to watch out for is if they're mage lords. You will have to LOS them here um, and make sure they do not um, kill you. Once that they are de aggroed then you can start to move. He will keep aggroing, um, but just to avoid that, you want to make sure you're up here and that they de aggro before you do this. Now you want to walk to this point right where I'm at and just backpedal off of it and fall down right here and you do that to avoid this pack of mobs right here um if you're not a class that can do this like mines through stealth anything if you have absolutely nothing then you're going to want to um do that method right there that i showed you um running out you're pretty much just gonna have to v-line for the exit 
if you do not have mind soothe or freezing like any form of cc most classes get stuff i'm mainly talking about warriors here because they get nothing um they can charge that's about it um and this is kind of a painful walk but you just need to run in through here get to the end of this tunnel and you'll be at the library now the elven legends quest initially i've already done it so i have these Librams unlocked but you literally just have to walk to the library and get a um you have to inspect the skeleton and then you unlock the enchants it's not hard at all and you can even sell these but the materials we're going to need for the plus eight spell power enchant to legs or helm is two skins of shadows which drop from skolomance trash um and there is a guaranteed little orb spawn inside of scola that you can get them um pretty much the bottom left boss if you're walking into that last room of scola can drop them as well as the skeletons at razor gore can drop the skins of shadows so right here we just go to libram of focus he says bring a libram of focus one pristine black diamond four large brilliant shards and two skins of shadows to him we accept that quest bam turn it in and we have our arcanum of focus so this applies eight healing and damage spells to a leg or head slot item. Now what's super, super cool about this is you can actually, the item itself is soul bound, but you can trade someone and they can put it in the bottom part like any other enchant and you can use this on someone. So you could sell this for maybe 100, 200 gold depending on the person who's buying it. However, I need this on my flare core leggings. So I'm gonna use this plus eight on these legs and get that enchanted for some amazing legs for shadow priests anyway guys so that's where you get the libram of focus in order to run out like i said you're gonna have to hug the right side wall as much as you possibly can because if you do not you're going to um aggro these guys and they are pretty lethal they will kill you really really quickly so we're gonna get up here um i i'm gonna mind soothe them just for sake of ease or you know i won't mind soothe them just to show you how you skip them without using um any abilities if you're a warrior uh, maybe a shaman you guys would get your earthbind totem it's so much more important to get here and do that drop that i showed you than it is to aggro these like if you aggro these and die it's not the end of the world but what you do is you hug this pole right there as tightly as you can. And then you're going to run up here right around this corner. This corner is the risky one. You almost always pull like that. But what you can do is get up here and just jump up to this um, ledge, which will de aggro them. And there you go. Just a nice little double jump there. It de aggros. It sends them, it actually doesn't de aggro on this side. It'll send them over there or confuse this mage. So you need to LOS this mage. Um, he'll then run all the way over there. And then they'll try to come up here. It's a pain, pretty much. <laughs> and we're going to have to make a run for it like this to get out of here. These slows are brutal and obnoxious just showing you that you can actually make it out with nothing using those tactics anyway that guys that's how you get your dire mall enchants nice quick and easy and just wanted to show you that as a part of this enchanting guide for casters Alrighty, guys i'll see you later Bye bye Alrighty, guys so that was just a quick rundown of the enchants dire mall all that and one final thing i figured i'd go over here i've covered this sort of in buffs and just all the other stuff is the consumables that you can just get nice and easy. I'd recommend using these. Um, if you're a mage, you're going to want a greater arcane elixir for damage and an elixir frost power. Um, these are about four gold per on my server. They vary in a lot of stuff. Um, and then we have, uh, if you're a warlock or a shadow priest, you're going to want to get the greater arcane elixir as well as a um, elixir of shadow damage those are about the same amount of stuff as well so just going over those for ways to enhance your damage um, healers I don't think use either of these because these are just spell 
damage, really. I, to the best of my knowledge, there isn't really any healer um, power boosts like there is for DPS. So just want to quickly go over that at the very end of that. And just, you know, thank you guys so much for watching this. I really hope this helps you um, if you're trying to raid, get into raiding. Just sort of giving you a rundown for the buffs and consumables you can use. Uh, one final thing I just remembered is run ton tuber surprise. This gives you 10 ints. There's also some healing power food. And there is some mana per 5 food. All great food that you can use. Um, if you have the Valentine's Day candy still, you can use those as well. But they're gone right now. But it, they last 10 days of being on. So you can still have them for use. Alrighty, guys. That's pretty much it for the food you can use. And, yeah. Well, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I really hope this helps you. I will see you next time. Bye bye if you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know, because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.